What is going on all of my tacticians and welcome to another tactical, no, well not really a tactical, but we're just going to be discussing what it is that makes a really really good fake out Pokemon. So let's see, how can I best describe a great fake out Pokemon? Well first of all I'm going to be using Tony the Tiger, Tony the, Tony my Incineroar here, who's going to be describing and helping us figure out what a good fake out Pokemon is. Along with all the, with all five other of my fake out Pokemon on, that I've currently got showing here. So first of all, what makes a really good fake out Pokemon is that first of all, the fake out will be able to get off. That's going to be step one. Get your fake out off, going to be flinching your opponents. It really only works with doubles because if you're going to be using it for singles, you're going to be mostly using it just to get some free damage off and break like say, break a focus ash or whatever. But in doubles. You can really make use of the fake out because it allows you to set up one of your ally Pokemon in in a battle. So, for example, let's say you have a let's say you have a Dragon Dancing Dragonite that you want to be able to get the free Dragon Dance off before it actually gets focused down with like say, oh I don't know something along the lines of maybe a Blizzard for example. Well, fake out is gonna help you do that, and it doesn't matter how slow the Pokemon is. For example, it doesn't matter how slow your Pokemon is. Because that fake out is a plus four priority. It will always be the first thing to go off outside of a protect. But countering the protect is not going to be what you're doing. You're just forcing your opponent to waste a turn. You're not doing a whole lot of damage to them with a fake out. Unless you've got paper thin defenses like say, like a Pheromosa's. But that's what's going to be happening. In this case, you're going to go for a very tanky offensive fake out user for example so you've got your off you get your assault vest here and you got your intimidate so the intimidate will reduce physical attacks reducing their offensive capabilities and you've also got your assault vest which will increase your special defenses to help counterbalance the fact that you're going for an intimidate and you're and you got no defensive moves and you got no uh and you're and you're really slow that's what the assault vest is going to be for Another fake out user is mostly designed for like say singles. So if you're going for a singles fake out user, you're going to be using your fake out just to deal some early damage, break some fo break a focus sash, see what see what kind of item they're running if they're running a focus sash or if they're running left leftovers. That's what your singles fake out user here is, just like Neptune. He's not designed for doubles. He's mostly in it for the singles. <laughs> Get it? Singles. <laughs> Poor joke. Poor joke of my taste. But in any case, back to the fake out strategy. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going for fake out. And once we've learned what kind of item our opponent is running, what kind of moves they're going to be going for, that's what we're going to be doing here with the stockpile and the thick fat. So we're just here just to learn what our opponent is running and to try and endure some damage. As well as at the same time, healing ourselves up, going for some stockpiles, and then iron tailing and aqua jetting our way to victory in singles. But then, we got very supportive fake out users, such as Alexis here, my life heart. She's here going to be doing two things. She's going to be faking out an opponent that I really don't want to deal with, and then either weakening them or, you know, dealing some, dealing some aggressive sucker punch damage with her, you know, with her attack damage. Alexis here, my life part, she's not going to take a lot of damage. She has nearly the same paper thin defenses as a, as a Fredamosa, so she's not going to take much to go down. But, she is going to be able to get that fake off off, and if she's in the doubles, she can weaken her opponents depending on what, what kind of strengths or weaknesses they have. If they weaken their special defense category, that's what the fake tiers are going to be doing, weakening them even further. Are they really powerful sp or special attackers? And do they or and do they just so happen to be male? Well, the captive is gonna do that. If it's none of the above, and I can go for an attack and she's gonna go down either way, well I'm gonna go for a sucker punch, make sure I get some kind of damage off. And who knows, maybe she'll get a KO. So that is the really aggro kind of uh, kind of fake out user. Then you got your mega you get your mega fake out user. Oh my lord, the Mega Fake Out users are one of the more dangerous kinds of Fake Out users because they're mostly in it for the singles and doubles. They can use it for they can use their moves for singles or doubles because they have the firepower and the speed 
to make use of their moves. So it's the opposite of what my Incineroar is. In this case, Imelda can go for Fake Out, and if she's in singles or doubles, she can Mega on the same turn she fakes out, dealing massive normal type damage, as well as weakening their my opponent's, uh, you know, HP, and even possibly removing a, fa a Focus Sash. Then, because she moves so much faster now, she can go for either a return for maximum norm normal damage, a low sweep for fighting type damage, or an ice punch if they're a dragon type. And that is how the fake out is going to be used for Mega Pokemon. Then, you've got the strategic fake out users, the ones I like to make use of if I ever get the chance to use them. So Rachel here, my mind shell, she's got the regenerator ability, and she's more strategic. She's more tactical about how she wants to go about things. She wants to fake out the priority threats that, to my team. She wants to fake out those Pokemon that I don't want to be getting their moves off. Like, say, I don't know, do I want to stop that Dragon Dancing Dragonite? Or do I want to stop the Trick Rooming Slowbro? Never know what you're going to counter, but a fake out is going to stop that those shenanigans in their tracks. Then, she's got the Wide Guard to help protect me against those multi-attacking moves. Like, say, Earthquakes and Rock Slides and Explosions. Seriously, that happened one time. I wide guard protected against an explosion and it saved my bacon. Oh my lord. But she also has the drain punch to, re to return some health and she can U-turn out if things get a bit too dicey. She has the speed to make use of that. But she also has the regenerator ability. Which means she'll recover health as soon as she returns back into the ball and returns to my team. So that gave me the idea to give her a life orb. Look, the life orb is going to reduce her damage or reduce her HP after she moves either way. So, why not strap it to a regenerator Pokemon? A regenerator Pokemon that deals damage, switches out, and then comes back in with more HP than it lost. That is what she wants to do with her ability and her fake out. So, that is what she's going to do. If she can do that for either singles or doubles, that is the brilliance of what this fake out strategy goes for. Now, moving on to a very, very tricky one. This is a very more strategic kind of fake-out user. And it's mostly to counter one thing and one thing only. Intimidators. Oh my lord. Meowstic Female is one of those Pokemon that is like a really, really, really... Not very intimidating Pokemon at first. However, combine its massive speed with its massive special attacking capability with the competitive nature, and, you know, I just strapped an Adrenaline Orb because why not? And you've got yourself a really, really powerful Pokemon. Now, Meowstic Female is not one to be going into singles. Trust me, if you try to send in Meowstic Female for singles, you're going to have a very difficult time. The Fake Out is only meant to do two things. One, break Focus Ashes. Two, stop opponents from carrying out their strategies. So that is what this Meowstic Female is going to do. However, in doubles, you can run Meowstic Female and you can hopefully get off... <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm losing my voice. You can hopefully get off the competitive ability because of the Intimidators that the opponent may be running. It also helps to counter Intimidators. So if the opponent is going to try and switch out into their Intimidator or so, and you have your competitive Meowstic Female, they're not going to take that risk. Trust me, they will not take that risk with their com with their Intimidate. If you give Meowstic Female even one competitive boost, you're going to find yourself in a really hard time. Combine that with a Fake Out to shut down your opponent, and you're going to have a very bad game if you leave this Meowstic on the, fema on, <laughs> on, the <fema> <laughs> on the field for too long. So there you go. Those are the six different types of Fake Outs. One fake out is just for pure brawling. You don't care that your opponent is going to be dealing some damage to you. You're going to be dealing even more damage to them. And you're going to be shutting them down at the same time. Second, you're going to be going for your sec going to be going for your singles. Singles fake out user. Deal damage, figure out what their what item they're running, what their move may be, and that's pretty much it. Then you get your very very offensive aggro fake out user. You're going to be dealing as much damage to your opponent as possible, whether it's in terms of, you know, physical attacks, 
or reducing their stats, as well as shutting them down with the fake out. Then you got your pure aggro fake out user for singles or doubles, similar to the fr similar to the second fake out user, but in this case your mega Pokemon is going to be dealing a lot more damage because of your fake out and your and your other moves. Be used for singles or doubles. Then. You've got your more tactical fake out user, dealing damage while having some tech on the side to, you know, just help you counter certain strategies and tactics that your opponent may employ. Then finally, you got your more strategic fake out user, helping to shut down your opponent's uh, more aggressive strategies such as intimidators, but also having the ability to shut down your opponent if, with certain moves like say the fake out. And you have some tech moves to deal some damage on the side. You can snowball really quick, but you're not going to be dealing a whole lot of damage until that happens. So, I hope you guys learned a thing or two about Fake Out. I myself don't run Fake Out very often on my teams, but I tend to run it once in a while, just in case. I'll see you tacticians another day. Bye-bye!